Hello friends, in this video, we will see how to use Servum UMG as PRI VoIP Gateway. Matrix Servum UMG is a universal media gateway offering connectivity to VoIP, PRI 3G, T1 even PRI, ISD and BRI, and POTS networks on a single application to cater an organization's existing infrastructure to the new age communication networks. Prerequisite Matrix Eternity G and X with Servum UMG application and Servum UMG license. Servum UMG can serve as PRI VoIP gateway for any IP PBX, which does not support PRI trunk facility. We will take a scenario in which Matrix Servum UMG is connected with an IP PBX over a peer to peer VoIP link. Servum UMG is installed with the service provider PRI line. The service provider is providing 100 DDI numbers and these numbers must be mapped with the extensions of IPBBX that is 3001 to 3100. In this scenario, the IP address of Servum UMG is 192.168.55.79 and the IP address of IPBBX is 192.168.55.250 Let us see the configuration. We will complete the configuration in three steps. Creating peer-to-peer -peer VoIP link between Servum UMG and IPPBX. Incoming calls from PRI to IPPBX. Outgoing calls from IPPBX to PRI. To know how to create a peer-to-peer -peer VoIP link, see our video peer-to-peer -peer calling in Servum UMG. Login to the GUI. Let us start with the second step. Go to basic settings followed by T1 event port. Go to Handling of Incoming Calls and select Appropriate Method. Portwise, to apply the same call routing methods on all channels. Channel Number Wise, to apply different call routing methods for each channel. MSN or DDI number wise to apply a different call routing method on each MSN that is multiple subscriber number. We will select port wise routing. Go to advanced settings. Select the destination extension number in the route all incoming calls with CLI and route all incoming calls without CLI fields. Following are the available options without any destination number to the fixed destination number, on the basis of calling party number, on the basis of DDI number, to the call party number, after answering the call and collecting the digits. Let us see how these options work. Without any destination number, calls will be routed to the destination port regardless of the destination number. To the fixed destination number, calls will be routed to a predefined fixed destination number on the basis of calling party number, calls will be routed to the destination number depending upon the calling party, that is, caller to destination number mapping.
on the basis of DDI number, calls will be routed as per the DDI that is direct dial in logic configured. This option is used in case of service provider PRI. To the call party number, calls will be routed directly to the destination number dialed by the caller without going through the operator. This option is used in case of PBX tie-up. After answering the call and collecting the digits, Servum UMG will answer the call, provide the dial tone and allow the caller to dial a desired number. We will select on the basis of DDI number in this field. Go to advanced settings to configure DDI number table. We can configure up to 1000 DDI numbers and map them against the extension numbers of IPPBX. Click DDI number generation to configure the entire range of DDI numbers all at once. Enter total DDI numbers coming from the service provider. Enter start index number which is the starting serial number of the table from which you want to start entering the entries. Enter star DDI number that is the first DDI number coming from the service provider. Enter star destination number that is the first destination extension number of the IPPBX. Check apply reverse DDI for all DDI numbers to map the calling extension number with the respective DDI numbers at the time of outgoing calls. Click apply. The entire range of 100 DDI numbers will be automatically mapped to the 100 extensions of IPBBX that is 3001-2310. Select the destination port in select destination port for routing calls field. Following are the available options, fixed, on the basis of destination number, on the basis of calling party number. Let us see the working of all the options. Fixed, calls will be routed to a fixed trunk irrespective of calling number and destination number. On the basis of destination number, Servum UMG will select the destination trunks on the basis of numbers dialed by a caller. On the basis of calling party number, Servum UMG will select the destination trunks depending upon the calling party, that is, caller to destination trunk mapping. We will select fixed in this field. Select the configured peer to peer SIP trunk as the destination port. This completes the second step. Let us start with the third step. Go to the configured peer-to-peer -peer SIP trunk followed by handling of incoming calls. Select to the call party number in the route all incoming calls with CLI and route all incoming calls without CLI fields. Calls will be routed directly to the destination number dialed by the caller without going through the operator. Select fixed as destination port in select destination port for routing calls field with the service provider T1 event trunk as the outgoing trunk.
this completes the entire configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and support, contact Metrix Technical Support Team. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Metrix Comsec.